Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. My name is Parker. So today I'm going to be going over the top five landing spots in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 3. I want to start off by thanking you all so much for 800 subscribers, guys. We are only 200 away from the big 1,000, so every subscriber helps. If you're new here, be sure to click that button and help me reach that goal. So this list is going to go like this. Five is going to be like, and eh, it's an okay spot to land. And number one is my all-time favorite best spot to land on the map. And remember, guys, these are all my opinions and what I've found over many, many games of landing here that these spots honestly give you great loot and health. So if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like down below. And guys, like I said, please subscribe and help me reach that goal. So without any further ado, let's hop right into the video. Starting at number five, it's right below Salty Springs. As you can see, I landed first chest was a gold scar. And, you know, that was pretty much luck but you can see another player did land here and that was it the whole time so pretty much uncontested besides one person so you shouldn't have an issue with that and of course this location does have slurp barrels however there is not enough for full shield i believe you can get 70 shield from this location unless i missed one but i'm 99 percent sure you can only get 70 shield so hey still pretty good and then if you obviously you find any other shield you can put those on too to get full shield there's quite a few chests here. There's a couple secret ones down below right here, as you can see. Loot's looking decent right now. You know, of course, the gold scar is awesome, but shotgun's not looking too good. More slurp barrels up here, and these big slurp tanks actually only do 10 shields, same as the other barrels. I thought they would do like 20 at least. If they did, then this place would be even better to get the full shield all from the slurp. So I picked up the enemy's loot here. He had some decent stuff with the blue tack and then the blue bolt as you guys can see right here there is an upgrade station too which is also huge and be sure to farm everything you're walking by and you will end up with a load of mats so you can do upgrades if you want and then there's a campfire over here which is also nice if someone does land here and you do get damaged use the campfire and then take the slurp barrels and then there are many fishing spots since there's a ton of water i got a harpoon and i did get a bunch of floppers i believe i got four and then I actually picked up another stack too, so that was also huge. And then just to the side of this island is the little floating RV park. Not too much loot here. I believe that one player that did land actually landed at this spot and looted a couple of them already. But you can still get a little bit of extra loot from these. But I did find a legendary chest in the RV park and I did get the purple charged shotgun, which is pretty good. And I was able to take out this enemy with the charged shotgun. I'm still getting better at it getting used to it but i'm starting to like it a little bit more so overall this spot was pretty solid ended up with honestly really good loot a ton of mats i used a lot in this build battle here but yeah i'd say this is a great spot to land moving on to number four this is just below holy hedges first gun i got was a hunting rifle and then i found a full shield right there and then there are a couple slurp barrels down here there's two of them right here to get 20 shield right there then i found another full shield so i am at max shield already loadout isn't looking too great but again there are a ton of chests and a lot of material opportunity here some pallets here are great for getting some wood some more chests like under these little canopies here near the tent. There is a campfire also, so good in case you do get into a battle, you can heal up there. And then swimming across onto another small island, there are some chests here. And there also is a boat and more pallets. So in case you do need to escape from the storm or a player, you can take the boat and be out of there just fine. And there's also a zip line that connects the islands together, which is also very nice. So overall, this spot is pretty good. I would say it's it's not the best. That's why it's at the top of the list because there's not too much shield opportunities. So yeah, if you want to land here, give it a shot. Moving on to number three is Deadpool's Yacht. So you can see I got a chest right off the top here. I think one player did land here, but that's it. It was pretty far away from the bus, but this spot will be pretty crowded if it is the first drop, so be careful with that. And there I see the enemy. I hit him 25 with my charged shotgun, and you can see there are some slurp barrels here that I pick up while the enemy is coming over here. And then he almost hits me with his tack and he comes in and I hit him for the 184 with a charged shotgun. Like I said, I'm starting to like this gun a lot more. He had all right loot. He got some minis for me. I think there was only one there and then the blue bolt. But this spot down here, there is a ton of food you can eat. You can see there's apples, 
mushrooms, coconuts, a ton of different things, more chests. I got some chug splashes. The loot here is honestly insane. There's so much to explore. There's the shield mushrooms right there. I use them to get some extra shield. And then the slurp mushrooms, these things are pretty good. Got two of those also. So I'm already at 82 shield. And then I found two more slurp barrels right here to get to full shield. And I believe there are so many more slurp barrels, so you are guaranteed full shield at this spot, which is huge. Another slurp mushroom, I didn't pick it up, and then here's a green AR I got. And then a full shield too, there's so many shields I found here, it's pretty insane. I only have two weapons in my inventory right now, the rest is just shields and meds. So you will for sure be stacked on this. And then right there, there were some more slurp barrels, which I don't need to use. So like I said, you're guaranteed full shield. So I found I didn't even have time to fully loot this area because of the zone. But don't worry, the zone was pretty far, but there is a chopper to get out of there super quickly. And I left with six chug splashes, three med kits, six minis. Awesome loot there. Really recommend this spot. All right, number four, guys. This one is actually a secret. You may have heard about it from other YouTubers, but there is a secret boat that is not actually on the map itself. You actually have to go locate it and find it. So make sure your render distance is up higher. But this boat has insane loot and some secret items that you won't normally see at the start of the game. So right as I land on the boat, I land on this chest here. It's weird, it's got some robot arms and then as you can see, I got some minis, two slurp barrels right here, and then three more right behind me along with a chest. So already at 50 shield, and with this spot, you are guaranteed full shield by slurp barrels. And then you can see a henchman chest on this boat too. Got a blue tack, and I already have max minis. Another chest out front, got a full shield, a ton of food boxes that you can go through and get health and shield from. As you can see, there's apples, there's mushrooms, coconuts, you name it. There's so many different food items here, but we're not done. That was just the top of the boat. And guys, I will show you another secret to get a ton of wood from one thing. Okay, down here, a supply drop is on this boat. Like, you will never see that early game. So this is huge. I got the purple tack and some chug splashes. Another chest and three more slurp barrels right here. That's crazy. We're already at 80 shield. Super close to full shield. Got a med kit and AR from this chest. Pretty solid loadout so far. I get another chest. Blue tack. Don't need that since I got the purple tack. And then a ton more food here. And more slurp barrels here. There's two more. Just got a slurp fish from this chest too. Which is also huge. And we have full shield already. And there's still a couple barrels left. So if you guys want to land here like duos or something. I think that would be pretty cool. You might not get that much loot. But for solo, this is one of the best spots. And for some reason, the fishing pole barrels were not dropping the rods. So make sure to search them. And then there is an upgrade station on the back too, which is also huge right there. And my loadout's pretty solid. But now onto the materials. I don't have that many. I've got decent metal right now. I would start by farming these posts at the bottom. And then moving up top and mining these little nets here. And then if you climb up here and take the extra time and jump up and mine this pole up here, you'll get 17 extra wood and then mine this crossbar at the bottom and the main pole. Look how much wood you get from this one pole, 131. I'm already at 246 wood, pretty much all from that pole. So guys, make sure to break that just how I showed you so you can get that max wood. So after farming the whole thing, looks pretty empty i got 300 wood 164 brick and 665 metal and of course there's a boat to escape the boat i know so the zone is very far most likely no one else will contest you because it's not actually located on the map you have to search for it so this is one of my favorite drop spots but guys we're moving on to number one all right, and now number one. This is probably my favorite drop spot at the moment. It's this small building next to the authority. And this building, I've been landing here almost every single game and getting really far into the game. So at the start, at the very top, there's a chest and then some slurp barrels. And there is enough slurp barrels probably to heal at least two people full, maybe three. So you are guaranteed full shield when you land here. I've already got 60 shield. And if you destroy everything in here, 
you will walk out of here with a ton of materials and guys i apologize for some reason the game recording was glitching so i had to go into replay mode and get the recording this way but as long as you guys can see it it should be all right and of course there's a ton of fishing holes around this area but guys be careful of the sharks they like this spot and oh my god sharks have flown in through the building and destroyed it and attacked me and it's pretty scary so guys just beware of sharks because they really seem to like this spot so there's quite a few chests in this area i'm sorry you can't see my loot but it wasn't the greatest but it was still decent you know you could still play with it and i now have max shield and as you can see there are a ton more slurp barrels down here i'd say like i said at at least two people full shield maybe three so this is a great spot for shields and then of course there is a boat at the front to get out of here and there is also an upgrade station near the back too in case you want to upgrade your weapon so overall this spot is huge you get great loot from this area i really recommend going here if you don't want a ton of action i'd say maybe one in every five games you'll get an occasional person one game i did get like four other people come here randomly and it was crazy but that probably won't happen to you guys it might just keep that in mind but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed this was a lot of work so i would really appreciate a like and please subscribe if you're new to help me reach that goal of 1000 subscribers i will get it one day but guys please everyone helps so again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video goodbye